Okay, I'm going to do some French tip. This to dry, so I used this yesterday. I'm using plate BM219. I've heard that an easier way to do the French tip to yourself is to look at the image and then lay your finger on it so that you can get the placement as to where it's supposed to be. But I've never done that before. <laughs> that was my first try, so um, I still screwed up. Again, these are the cotton pads that are lint-free. I like to use lint-free because when I use ones like this, the little fuzzies stick all over. Rather, and I'm gonna use I guess with practice, that would be an easier way to do it. I missed a little. So keep in mind also that you're going to be doing this to yourself so it'll be easier. I'm actually kind of all sort of backwards doing it so that you guys can see. So I'm going to be crappier at this. <laughs> but that's actually a really good idea on how to do French tips. I can't remember where I read that from. I didn't make it up. I read it somewhere on somebody's blog or something. And if you're, one, you're the one that wrote that, by golly, tell me so I can put an annotation and give you credit. Because I read, um, where did I read that? It was a long time ago, too, that I read that. Having a problem picking up an image? Test the pressure of scraping. Don't scrape too hard. Scrape a little lighter. Add a little less polish. Add a little more polish. It's all, um, it all depends. You kind of got to play around with these things. Does anyone know of a white that works that's not Conad? Does, um, does someone have a Sally Insta Dry that's white that works? If so, could you comment and tell everyone that that works? Because I don't know. I don't have it, but I'd like to give people another option. This swirly one up there with white. See if I could do like a white French tip thing going on. Oh, that was kind of cute. Bunda Monster 218. For Audrey China Glaze, Pure Ice Silver Mercedes. Lay your finger right on top of it. Looks good. I curled up the edges, but they lay down. I totally screwed that up. My plan was to have gray and then black French tip with a white stamp over it. But I'm going to stamp over this anyway. Just because I freaking feel like it. 18 again. I went a little too low. <sighs> That's my idea though. It's like three tone. You have the color up to the French tip, the French tip color beneath, and then the one you stamp with. It's like a it's like a tritone or something. So there was that three tone idea, even though I, <laughs> it looks disastrous. I'm not telling you that it should look like this when you're done, but it gives you an idea. This is not a tutorial of how to's, this is experimenting, so please don't um Please don't judge me for that. <laughs> when I was thinking of the three-tone, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to do a two-tone? So I painted pure ice, and then the French tip I did, the Pronto Purple. I have all these colors next to me, so I just keep reusing the same ones. And I really hope this is dry. It kind of is, and it kind of isn't. So why not use, so why not paint your whole nail, then paint the tip, then use this color down here to stamp with, so it looks like you, um, what would be a good plate BM219? I'm laying it face up so I can see the image, and then I set 
my and I roll it from side to side okay so I guess my idea was to make it look like you had the same color coming up and then going over the French tip color how does Andrea fix everything? She adds a silver sparkle line. So that could be kind of a neat idea. Right? I'm going to definitely do some French tip designs because I've got all these ideas running through my head. So far, um, painting your nail one color the French tip another, and then a third to stamp with to make like a tri-tone thing going on. You can use contrasting colors. Um, I kind of stayed in the same black and white gray theme. Or you could use, or you could paint your nail, um, paint your nail, then your French tip a different color, and then whatever color you use down here, stamp with. So I think that looks pretty cool. So this is just some experimenting, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, he's left. What do we do with him? Get rid of the fuzz first. That's what we'll do. Let's try to let's try to make the holly happen. Ooh, that's way too much green. <laughs> it's a bad, bad situation. Actually, it didn't turn out so bad at all. And I kind of scraped over things. Okay, the image didn't come out because I waited too long, but it actually did keep the red where I put it and the green where I put it if I gave it 100% effort. Cool. Okay, I'm going to end up on here until midnight again. So I'm going to edit, and then I'm going to take off all of this while I upload.